games. So we can have like more games through, you know what I mean? Seven remake complete waste of time. Yeah, I saw Mark play that. Um, and I liked I liked bantering with Mark as he played it and you know, us all shitting on the game. Like there were aspects that were like, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool, but like I enjoyed the um the banter. More way more than the game. Oh, and look at these three kids. They're vibing, man. Forever! Elliot, sometimes you just need to say less, my guy. I'll be- I'll be eating beans faster? What the fuck does that even mean, Elliot? I look forward to it now. I'm so happy. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's 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 great times. Yep. Yeah. I'll never be lonely again. Oh, did I equip them with stuff? I pre equipped them with good stuff tonight. Damn it. It's whatever. I'll I'll get them again at some point later. Because they're a star's destiny. Anyone that you talk to in these Suikoden games, if they've got a character portrait and a unique name, they're a star of destiny. It is inevitable that we will be shitting on the best graphics now, 10 years later. If you want to create a classic game, it's got to be gameplay or world building. Life, though. I'm not, I'm not shitting on Vagrant Story. Have you seen some of my... Um, like... I'm not the best player of the game, but I'm not I'm not shitting on that game. I'm just a bit perturbed by the complexity of Vagrant Story, but there is there is something there that is incredible. And even going back looking at it now, I think it's like twenty four years or so old. Amazing. And it's it's not been like there's no Vagrant Story two, so far as I know. There might be one in the works now, because everyone's returning to these retro classics and they're like, hmm, what IP can we, you know, pillage today? So, uh, I expect there's going to be a, a Vagrant Story 2 at some point. But you have a look at that game, and that game is like, whoa. And I think that that was a, um, that was a, not a Square Enix game, that was a Square Soft game. So, back when Square was good. Hmm, convincing their parents that we are not kidnappers was harder than the adventure itself. I want a proper sequel to Chrono Trigger. It's a very tough thing though, isn't it? Like, you make an iconic game. Do you... Do you want to have it... To have a sequel to it? Do you want a reboot? No. Do you want a remake? No. Do you want a continuation? Some people would say, mm, no. Because the story, like, it began and it ended, and it's fine, and please don't touch it. It is sacrosanct, you know? A new plot set in the same universe. You know, the, there's that old saying, it's very difficult or impossible to bottle lightning twice. So That could just be the case with uh, Chrono Trigger, you know? Like, what's another classic game that I wouldn't think of touching? Um... I'm trying to think of some PlayStation ones. Oh, okay, here's one. Donkey Kong Country. Let, let's let's reboot Donkey Kong Country and bring it to, like, PlayStation 5. It wouldn't be the same. What's another one? Um, okay. I haven't actually played this game, but it's, it's, it's considered a classic. It's considered very unique. Echo the Dolphin. Let's remake that. Let's, let's have a VR. You know? It's it's not the same. It's not the same. It's it's like people trying to cash in on nostalgia bucks. You know? Like just make just make good new shit. It's not difficult. It really isn't. I feel like it's it's it would be the easiest thing to do. But uh I'm guessing that the younger people trying to get their ideas through are getting blocked by the people that are like, No, it's my turn and their ideas are like garbage or whatever 
Yeah, but it turned out fine in the end. Those three sure are close friends. I'm glad we're like that too. Speak for yourself. Yes, me too. <laughs> Hugo's like, hmm, yeah. We're very good friends, yes. Yeah. KFC gets it. He knows what's up. Okay, so now that we've dropped the kids off, we should be able to go back to the, the Parliament House. Because um, we are representatives of our village. And the whole reason why we came to the city was to um, have this meeting. Now look at the slowdown in the emulator. Do you see all the sprites? And the music's grinding. It's dropping to 87%. Usually this game will be running at 60 frames. Be back later, no problem. I'll be here for like another, I want to say another 20 minutes. It's all good though. La I know. It's 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 having a hard chug. Hey boy, what's up? I'm very good, Hugo. I mean, Melville. Well, Elliot. Um, maybe maybe later. When you beef up a bit. Can we go through now? Oh my god, another night. Okay, so, question. Do I need to talk to those buskers? Hello, kitty. Um, so, I don't need to talk to the knight. Okay, if we go back in this direction, from whence we came, from whence. Can we talk with these dudes now? Guess not. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to go back to the inn, which is fine. I wonder if there's anyone here that's going to talk about Guillermo or something. Excuse me? Bruh. That's a nice compliment. I'll take it. Imagine if someone said, Ah, oh, you smell like a country meadow. I'll actually be, like, super chuffed. Whoa, 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 that was a lot of frame dropping. Okay, is this the bar or is this the, uh, the inn? Okay, are you a star of destiny? No. Alright. Um, yep, that's all with you. Stop the alarm. We have rooms available, goody goody. Yes. Alright. Okay, what's that? Can we read down the wall? Guess not. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's try again. If not, then that means um, we need to trigger something else. Right, Lulu. <laughs> get roasted. Game KFC. Yeah, 
Yeah, Fubar. Fubar is a uh, Bucky Beak. It's like the um, uh, what do you call it? Like a Griffin. God, that has a real severe chug when there's a lot of character sprites. Doot, doot. Let me in, please. Alright, looks like they're ready now. Hmm, side eye. Oh my god, I can't deliver the message directly. I'm gonna cut your face. Exactly. The disrespect. Let's, uh, let's save scum this. Right. Yeah, you get Hugo. Cut your face. Damn. All right. So let's try the other way. The, the other way. That's disappointing.
Hey boy. I'm good. Alright, so let's finally check out. There's actually quite a few Star of Destinies in this uh, village. God, this this emulator's not having it. It's probably my computer. I think my computer's pretty decent. Like, it can handle this. Alright. Are you finally gonna talk to me, boy? God damn it. I want new party members though. Okay, so let's go to through here. It doesn't look like there's anyone in weird costume. We shall go this way because there's a Star of Destiny looking out of the dock. You. Alright, well. Um, do I buy things? Do I buy things? How much money do I actually have? Four? Oh, decent, but not, not enough to really, like, outfit. But then again, I've got, like, very bad stuff, so maybe I should. What's my party item? Alright, I've got two of these things. We, we get them looked at. Uh, no. Oh wait, isn't this where um, one of the kids is? One of the kids are. In Duckburg, who's got lasers airplanes? Right, so sell. The failure urn. Oh, I know that they deal only this stuff. Ooh. Yeah, this is how you make money in this game, for sure. Alright, well, anyway. Let's get these two pots appraised. They're probably garbage, but, you know, it's fun. Here we go. And then we'll go back to our village. As we leave, something's gonna happen. That's just my thought. Stop streaming. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do it very soon. No. Shh. The camera angle. It changed on me. Uh, what's in here again? Yeah, I'm not sure we're allowed to enter. Yeah. We we did enter before, but I think that was for a cutscene. 